Good evening. I'm Lou Young. Ralph Penza is off tonight. And I'm Perry Peltz. He was best known for his work on Fantasy Island, but in real life, actor Hervé Velechez was plagued by health problems, legal problems, and problems finding work. And tonight, Velechez is dead after apparently committing suicide. KNBC's Rebecca Aguilera reports on the life and death of the man whose most famous words were, the plane, the plane. Hi, boss. Publicists for Hervé Velechez say his life was no fantasy island after he left the popular series in 1983. Early this morning, the 50-year-old actor ended his life in his North Hollywood home. His girlfriend, who lived with him, found his body. Friends say that around 3 o'clock this morning, Velechez got out of bed, he grabbed a gun, then he went into his backyard and he killed himself. Friends believe that he committed suicide because he was frustrated with his health problems. Neighbor Sergio Gonzalez heard the gunshots. He says Velasquez was a loner in the neighborhood. You know, it's just kind of weird to see an actor just sit standing there and just staring. And then sometimes he would bring out his camera and just, he'd be walking around here. There was nothing really going on. and just walk around, just taking pictures, you know, trying to, I don't know what He just seemed to... to have a lot on his mind or something? Yeah, it seemed like he was just like, um, he had a lot on his mind. Velasquez played Tattoo, Ricardo Montalban's sidekick, for six years on the series Fantasy Island. But his publicist says he was troubled with legal and health problems after he left the show. In 1985, Velasquez was sentenced to a year's probation for illegally carrying a loaded weapon. And last year, the actor almost died of pneumonia. Neighbor Tony King says Velasquez appeared unhappy. A little distraught or a little... A little pain? Unusual, yeah. And then on uh, last Sunday, I think it was, he seemed to look much better. Ricardo Montalban told us he was saddened to hear his friend took his life. Montalban claims Velasquez contributed to the success of Fantasy Island. Friends hope Velasquez will be remembered for the good work he left behind. In North Hollywood, Rebecca Aguilar, Channel 4 News. Velasquez's publicist says he left behind both a suicide note and a tape recording, saying he was despondent over health problems.